this footage right here, you can see that the security guard appears to be talking to someone. Many people thought that he was initially talking over the phone because you can't see anyone else in the conversation until he did something very strange. Right here, you can see that he gives someone a fist bump, although it looks like he's just giving a fist bump to the air. The security guard in question, Freddy Matute, said this. My friend comes and he greets me with a fist. He even asks me questions about La Isla about a friend that we have in common on the third floor. So La Isla is the name of the mall in Bucaramanga, Colombia, where Freddy and his friend had worked together for more than 10 years. But the thing is, is that Freddy is the only one who saw his friend that day. Freddy's coworkers on the other side of the cameras were alarmed. You know, they were probably thinking this dude was crazy. The coordinator found out that security guard Freddy was talking to someone and he asked him who he was talking to. And Freddy said that he was talking to El Chavo. So El Chavo is the nickname of 28 year old Joaquin Antonio Ruega, a janitorial worker at the mall. But the thing is, is that El Chavo had died from stomach cancer just a few hours earlier and Freddy and his co-workers didn't know. Later someone called the security guards to inform them that El Chavo had passed away and you can see right here in this footage how Freddy reacts when they tell him over the radio that he's dead. He looks spooked, he jumps out of his seat and he looks to the side where his friend had walked. So unsurprisingly, Freddy was sent to get a mental health evaluation because he was so convinced that he had spoken to a dead person. The other day we took him to get a medical evaluation to determine if he was in completely good health. And today he continues working with us again in the mall. A religious ceremony was organized for the man who passed away and his only family member in Bucaramanga asked that he rest in peace. Freddy believes that this incident happened to him for a reason, and if it wasn't for the testimonies of all the workers, people would have just simply thought that this was a prank.